You ain't got to, shawty. It ain't even that deep. It ain't, it, it ain't even that deep. What's up? What's good? It's your girl Courtney B here and I'm back with yet another video. Y'all, I'm so excited for today's video because I've been planning this for a very, 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 very long time. Got my notebook here. We are official today, okay? Official YouTuber business, period. For today's video, you guys, I am bringing you guys a highly requested video and that is how to look luxe or look a little bit more put together on a budget without spending much money or any money at all. Now, I want to start off by saying that even without these clothes, even without these tips in this video, you're already expensive, you're already luxe, you're already priceless, okay? You can be naked walking down the street. Baby, you still cost a couple mil, a couple billion, you feel me? A couple trillion, okay? Clothing does not make you, items do not make you, this materialistic thing does not make you, okay? It's your mind and your heart and your personality that makes you luxe. You are luxury all on its own, baby. And don't you forget that. Since we all love definitions, let me just give you guys the definition of luxe. The definition of luxe is of high quality and expensive. I don't really like the definition too much, so I'm just gonna take out some things, okay? Kind of remix it. For this particular video, luxe to me means of high quality. The outfit is of high quality because we are shopping on a budget. I know it's a common misconception that when you buy budget friendly, that the items are not quality pieces. I personally do not feel that way. It's just a personal thing. I personally do not feel you have to break the bank at all to look a certain way or to bring a certain outfit together. So if anyone ever tells you that, they just have a very weird way <laughs> of thinking, if you will. Nothing has to be that much besides food and your car payment. Not saying that you can't do that for yourself, cause you can, but if you don't want to spend that money, you ain't got to, shout. It ain't even that deep. It ain't, it, it ain't even that deep. You in no way, shape, or form have to dress to show people that you cost a lot of money to prove to them that you are expensive, like, what? My definition in this video overall is gonna focus on how to make you look and feel luxe in your affordable pieces. So if you guys are interested in my tips, please do not forget to give your girl a big thumbs up. Let's just jump into these little points. Number one is a good makeup routine. Now when I say makeup, either it can be a full beat or it can be a minimal no makeup makeup look. I could go for pretty much either one, but I just think for every day, a good no makeup makeup look would just suit you just fine. And even not makeup, just keeping yourself very well groomed. You know what I'm saying? Making sure your eyebrows are nicely shaped, um, making sure that, you know, that you're just put together. You ain't got nothing sitting in your teeth. Okay, you ain't got no boogie in your nose. Just make sure that you look very clean, well-groomed, and just taken care of. Now, the makeup part is optional. I'm not telling you by any means you need to wear makeup to feel as if you are expensive or luxurious or that you're being put together. On my opinion, I do feel as if that does kind of bring everything together. It just pulls any look, anything together, you feel me? If you guys are just starting off, I do recommend you getting like a well-grounded, no makeup makeup routine. And I say that because it's minimal. It's no foundation, it's just concealer, the bare minimum, and also with it being minimal, that means less makeup, which means less money you have to spend on makeup, all right? Now y'all know my channel is all about balling on a budget, being a baddie on a budget, and saving that coin. Now when it comes to makeup, I would highly, highly recommend you guys checking out I Kate House and Shop Miss A. If you guys do not know what Shop Miss A is, Shop Miss A is a dollar website for cosmetics. That's why I started off, that's actually where I still buy my makeup from. It's not name brand makeup, it's more so like off brand makeup, but it's makeup, honey that still works, all right? Besides I Kate House and Shop Miss A, I do recommend your handy dandy drugstore, baby. It's 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 accessible, it's right there in your town. You don't have to spend an arm and a leg on makeup, you don't have to spend an arm and a leg on any of that stuff, honey. Just get you some makeup that works for you and call it a day. Now today, I did like a full beat. I did a full beat, girl, you, girl, y'all, you see I'm closing my eyes long. I did eyeshadow today. Y'all know I don't normally do eyeshadow, but I felt a little, <laughs> <laughs> as far as clothing, I would highly, highly recommend wearing neutrals. I love neutral colors. I love black, white, gray, tan, brown, nude. 
Also pastel colors. We are in spring, I forgot. Y'all know I'm trying to get into color myself. But pastel colors are great for the springtime. It's also very minimal, very clean, very classic. And it's not doing too much, not being too loud. But it still makes a statement. I don't know what it is about neutrals. It's just timeless. It never goes out of style. It's clean, it's classic, it's hard to get misunderstood. Neutrals are just the basis of any stylish wardrobe. It's minimal and can be tweaked for any occasion, you know? Neutrals just add a drop of class to any outfit. You can be going to the grocery store, Dollar Tree, the watch house. And also, if you guys are into bright colors and not really into the neutral pieces, you can also make that look classy and a little bit luxe as well. I just personally have not ventured off into that realm just yet, but a good, good, good channel to watch when trying to incorporate color into like your classic luxe pieces, high, low luxe. I love high low lux. She doesn't even know me, but Janae is my auntie in my head. Like my rich, thick auntie in my head. If you guys are still a little bit confused on what I mean when I say neutrals and pastels, I will leave some links to some charts down below that I have on Pinterest. They can kind of help you and guide you through some color matching and some neutral matching when it comes to your wardrobe. Number three is having polished hair. Now, when I say polished, I'm not meaning straight by any means. You can have natural hair, curly hair, zigzag hair, spiky hair, upside down, whoop, whoop, back to back again, okay? You can have any type of hair as long as it's done. You know, done right, very neat, and just, I don't know what that mean, but we gonna figure it out. Today, I went for, eh, it's not really straight. It's kind of messy. I could have curled it, but I didn't. I just pulled my hair to the back, and it just instantly looks kind of like I tried at least a little bit. I don't know how to describe it. I'll put some examples here on the screen so you guys can see kind of what I'm trying to get at. When I think of sleek and polished hairstyles, I'm thinking of buns. Slick backs, side swoop buns, side swoop ponytails, extended ponytails, giraffe ponytails, baby. The day I pop up with a giraffe ponytail, it's gonna be over. Like, it's it's just done. It's just done. Like, when I stop speaking to y'all, just know I have my giraffe ponytail. It just makes it look like you tried to do your hair in the morning, which you probably didn't, but your wig was chilling on your mannequin head overnight, so it's still fresh. Boom. Basics, basics, basics. Basics. Basic pieces, clothing pieces, like this one I'm wearing right now. This is a dress that I bought from Fashion Nova. This dress is giving me all of the feels. I think I took an Instagram picture in this. And you know what? It's just a simple black dress. But something about a simple black maxi dress, this is something for the girls. Something for the girls. You hear me? I have a thousand and one dresses like this. But in my head, I promise they're all so different. <laughs> Now there's a number of different basics. Um, it just depends on what your clothing style is. So I can't really tell you what to get. When I think of basics, I think of a good quality pair of black leggings, white leggings, gray leggings, nice body suits, nice tailored t-shirts, fitted shirts. Once again, I'll put on the screen <laughs> Some, of, some good examples of some good basics to have to start your wardrobe. Or if you guys want a different, dedicated, separate video on like your basic wardrobe pieces that you will need, kind of looks up your look, I would definitely love to do that. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do it anyway. You ain't gotta tell me. Y'all know I rant and rave about Shein. I do not work with them at all. They do not even know me, honey. I love Shein. I'll leave the link to their basic shops down below. They have some of the best basics as far as like aesthetic wise for a very affordable price so i would recommend for between one as well so i'll put both of those links down below jewelry accessorize but make it minimal when i say minimal i mean dainty jewelry like the pieces i'm wearing today a nice little soft dainty necklace nice soft dainty earrings and even a dainty or stackable bracelet or even a watch right now i'm watching my dupes cartier bracelet that i got in my last vlog which i will link down below i'm wearing her faux luxe Chanel necklace and her faux luxe Chanel stud earrings, which I will also leave down below. I don't know, just dainty earrings, dainty accessories, just, it's like the cherry on top. I don't know how to even describe it. It just looks very nice sitting on your chest, sitting in your ear. Sometimes when you wear a bunch of bulky jewelry, it can kind of overpower and kind of, I don't want to say cheap down the look, but it can kind of dull down the look. You can have on an outfit that costs maybe five dollars for the whole thing shoulders chest pants shoes wipe it out if you have on some nice accessories people are gonna think you paid 150 bucks for your outfit some really nice accessory spots that i can recommend to you guys is also she in forever 21 has some nice accessories as well but if you guys are particularly looking for luxury items such as the one that i am wearing right now 
her faux luxe is definitely, definitely the way to go. Their whole collection is just goals. I love it so, so much. I always link to this store down below so you guys can check out all of those items. And it's also a black owned boutique. Two snaps and a coat. So yeah, for all of your luxe needs, I definitely would recommend her faux Lux, because this necklace today I am wearing is absolutely adorable. I love this so, so much. That will also just elevate your outfit. You can have on sweats, t-shirts, sneakers, some nice jewelry pieces. You hitting. May catch you a man in Walmart. You never know. You never know. <laughs> Having a nice, minimal handbag. Having a nice, minimal handbag also just elevates your look. It can be a crossbody. It can be a tote. As long as it's minimal and it's very classic and chic. And y'all know what I do when it comes to my bags. Um, if y'all don't know, you better ask somebody. I shop in the luxury department of my items. Once again, if you don't know, you better ask somebody. I'm an LV lover, okay? When I think of a classic minimal bag, I think of maybe an Alma BB. It's just so many different things out there. Just find what bag suits you, what bag you can see yourself carrying every day. Bags can always elevate any look, especially a nice luxury bag, in my personal opinion. Being monochrome, I love doing this, okay? I love wearing an all white fit, an all black fit, an all one color fit. That's what monochromatic, that's what monochrome means. It's wearing all one color. Whether it's different shade ranges of that color, it's just all one color. That does something for the girls. It does something for the guys. It just flatters anyone. It's sexy. I love being monochrome, especially when it comes to nudes and whites. I don't know the logic behind it, but it makes everything look so clean and I don't know. I'm not a, a style guru or nothing. I'm just telling you guys what I have picked up on when finding my style. Last but not least, finding pieces that flatter you the best. Now, this can kind of be tricky because not everything's gonna fit you to the T. That's where getting things tailored come into play. And this is a realm I'm starting to accept that I have to go into myself because if you guys seen my previous vlog, if you guys have not seen it by now, it's probably still being edited. I recently just lost 12 pounds on accident. With me being so small and having, you know, little caboose boots back there. It's kind of hard to find jeans that fit me because my waist is so small. I can buy any type of jean. It's just not gonna fit me. Take them to the seamstress. It just makes everything look a lot more polished as well. Just making sure you guys get clothing that fits your physique well, but not overdoing. You don't make anything look extra, extra raunchy. Now don't do that. And yeah, you guys, that is the end of my tips. How to look luxe, upgrade your outfit on a budget without spending much money at all. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please not forget to give your girl a big thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to the Beehive down below. Join the Beehive game, the Beehive family, because we are lit and we are never, ever. Boy, you over here to understand me. I know you want to keep in contact with your girl because I'm your best friend, you're my best friend, we're all best friends. So add your girl on Instagram. I mean, what? If you guys have any video ideas that pertain to style, finding your style, shopping, leave those video recommendations down below. I will definitely get to those. And yeah, as always, I love every single one of you. But until next time, my lovelies, your crown may tilt, but you never let it fall. Stay gilded.